economics standard 12 unit 10 environmental economics continued let us learn today pollution pollution is the introduction of contaminants into the natural environment that causes adverse change in the form of clean up life toxicity of environment damage to ecosystem and aesthetics of our surrounding. There are four types of pollutions, namely air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution, and land pollution. So pollution can be divided into four, air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution, and finally, land pollution the most important pollution, land pollution. So air pollution. Air pollution is the presence of any solid liquid or gaseous substance in the atmosphere in such concentration as may be or tend to be injurious to human beings or other living creatures or plants or property or environment. There are two types of air pollution, namely indoor air pollution and outdoor air pollution. So air pollution can be divided into two, indoor air pollution and outdoor air pollution. Indoor air pollution comes within us, that is within the house, homes, schools, workplaces, and so on. So indoor air pollution is the toxic contaminants that we encounter in our daily lives, in our homes, schools, and workplaces. Examples, cooking and heating with the solid fuels on open fires or traditional stoves. Outdoor Pollution, air pollution, refers to ambient air. You know the best examples? Combustion process from water vehicles, solid fuel burning and industry, so on. There are many causes of air pollution. The first important cause of air pollution is the smoke that comes out of vehicles. You know, vehicles smoke happens to release high amounts of carbon monoxide. Millions of vehicles are operated every day in cities, each one leaving behind its own carbon footprint on this environment. Secondly, fossil fuel based power plants. Fossil fuels also present a wider scale problem when they are burnt for energy in power plants. Chemicals like sulfur dioxide are released during the burning process. So during the fossil burning process, chemicals like sulfur dioxide is released, which travel straight into the atmosphere. These types of pollutants react with water molecules to yield something which is known as acid rain. Exhaust from industrial plants and factories also, another important cause. Heavy machineries located inside big factories and industrial plants also emit pollutants into the air. Constructions and agricultural activities cause air pollution. Potential impacts are rising from the construction debris would include dust particles and gaseous emissions from the construction sites. Likewise, using of ammonia for agriculture is a frequent byproduct that happens to be 
one of the most dangerous gas gases affecting the air so that is the ammonia using of ammonia for agriculture is a frequent by product that happens to be one of the most dangerous gases affecting air fifth natural gases air is one of the biggest pollutants itself it is one of the biggest pollutants itself through volcanoes and forest fires and dust storms they are nature born events that dump massive amounts of air pollution into the atmosphere sixth household activities household activities like cooking heating and lighting use of various forms of mosquito repellents pesticides and chemicals for cleaning at home and use of artificial fragrances or some of the sources that contribute to air pollution effects of air pollution respiratory and heart problems is the main effects of air pollution you know it creates several respiratory and heart ailments along with cancer children are highly vulnerable and exposed to air pollutants and commonly suffer from pneumonia and asthma global warming increasing temperature in the atmosphere leads to global warming and thereby to increase sea level rise and melting of polar icebergs displacement and loss of habitat thirdly acid rain harmful gases like nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides are released into the atmosphere during the burning of fossil fuels acid rain causes great damage to human beings animals and crops fourthly eutrophication eutrophication is a condition where high amount of nitrogen present in some pollutants which adversely affects fish plants and animal species fifth effect on wildlife toxic chemicals present in the air can force wildlife species to move to new place and change their habitat so effects on wildlife is another important cause of air pollution six depletion of ozone layer this is the most important cause of air pollution you know ozone exists in earth's atmosphere and is responsible for protecting humans from harmful ultraviolet rays you know ozone layers present in the earth's atmosphere is responsible for protecting humans from harmful ultraviolet rays earth's ocean layer is depleting due to presence of chlorofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere and seventh human health is affected you know outdoor air pollution is a major cause of death and disease globally the health effects range from increased hospital admissions and emergency room visits to increased rise of premature death an estimated 4.2 million not sorry not million 4.2 billion premature deaths globally are linked to ambient air pollution so remember an estimated 4.2 billion premature 
premature deaths globally are linked to ambient air pollution. According to WHO, World Health Organization, you know, every day about 93% of the world's children under the age of 50 breathe polluted air that puts their health and development at, you know, serious risk. So every day, about 93% of the world children will, under the age of 50, they breathe polluted air that puts their health and development at serious risk. And, of course, there are remedies to control the air pollution. You know, establishment of industries away from the towns and cities. Increasing the length of the chimneys in industries. Growing more plants and trees. Use of non-conventional fuels like biogas and LPG. And use of mass transit systems in, to avoid more of the vehicles. And these are certain important remedial measures to control air pollution. So the effects of air pollution are high indeed. Respiratory and heart problems occur. Global warming is the acid rain and eutrophication effect on wildlife, depletion of ozone layer, and finally, air pollution affects human health and premature deaths occur in large scale. So let us learn water pollution in the next class. Thank you for listening.